This is problem 20 from uh, the web work, uh, uh, just a homework problem. We're looking for a distribution called a chi-squared distribution. It's an interesting distribution because it's not symmetrical. It's really uh, skewed way to the to the right. It uh, the area under the curve is still one because it is a, a distribution. And what we're supposed to do is find the 99% degree of confidence uh, with a sample size of n. So uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to look at that distribution. We want to have 99% between this value and this value. So we've got these uh, two values here that we're looking for. That'll be the x upper and this uh, this will be the chi-squared upper and this will be the chi-squared lower. So <clears throat> what's left over there is 1% and we divide that in 2 that's the alpha divided by 2 so there's the 0 0.005 up here and 0 0.005 down here. Now the nice thing is that uh, R has uh, has uh, functions for the chi squared just like it does for the normal and the t distributions. We need a quantile. We need the quantile to the left of 0 0.005. That's this part down here. Okay, so we're looking for the the quantile of the chi squared distribution at 0 0.005 because the sample size is n. The degree of freedom is 6, and so there we're getting that calculation. Uh, on the other hand, when we're looking for for this so that 0 0.005 is above this value, when we're looking for this quantile, then this part down below here will be 0.995. That total area down below here is 0.995. So we're just looking for the chi-squared of 0.995 with 6, and that's it. It's just that easy. So what I want you to see here is that most of the distributions that we've studied in this class have been the normal distribution and the t-distribution, but there are other distributions like the chi-squared distribution and others. Uh, if you just know how to look it up, it's the same kind of idea, um, and there's very similar functions for each one of them in are. Okay, good luck.